Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Back in summer of 2022, when Intel finally announced their upcoming high-end ARC GPUs, I got very excited. Team Blue first released their entry-level A380, and this sub-150 USD card received praise for its great video editing capability, but unfortunately, when it came to gaming, the A380 didn't hold up to even all the GPUs from a couple of generations ago, such as the GTX 1060 or AMD's RX 580. And, oh boy, things did not go well for A770's launch either. Whether it was the poor or non-existing game support, embarrassingly badly packaged drivers, or excessive use of glue and tape with the limited edition of the card. None of this has put me off ordering one for myself, so here we are. A year later, A770 was rinsed through the usual I switched to insert GPU's manufacturer's name by big YouTubers, but I'm happy to report Intel has not been sleeping on the job, but rather turned things around, and with each driver update, they are able to squeeze more performance. Since I've tested the RTX 3060 and 6600 XT already, I thought this might be a perfect opportunity to check out what Team Blue has to offer. Let's look at A770 specs first. Released in October 2022 with an MSRP of 349 USD, A770's GPU was manufactured using TSMC's 6 nanometer process and with a die size of 406 square millimeters, it's not what you call small. GPU core is configured with 4096 shading units, 128 ROPs and 32 RT cores. A770 comes with either 8 or 16 GB of GDDR6 memory using a 512-bit memory bus and it operates a 225W TDP. My testing was done with a driver version 31.0.101.4900 and I was not joking when I said Intel is working hard. Looking at the website as I write this script, I can already see few new versions available. This is good stuff. Ok, testing begins with a handful of synthetic benchmarks, first, it's 3 Mark Time Spy. A770 strikes nearly 13,000 points, establishing a 22% lead over the 6600 XT and 27% over Nvidia's RTX 3060. Now that is what I call a promising start. Even more impressive was that A770 actually managed to match the legendary 1080 Ti in Firestrike Extreme. 6600 XT was slower by 13% and 3060 by 36%. To test ray tracing capability, I'm using Port Royal. Arc A770 wins this round with a comfortable 22% lead over the RTX 3060 and nearly 30% over 6600 XT. So far, this Intel GPU is on fire. Let's continue with Blender's Classroom Benchmark. Arc dominated this test and finished the rendering 12 seconds quicker than the 3060 and hauled 21 seconds faster than the 6600 XT. Heaven benchmark using ultra quality seen just shy of 5200 points, making A770 nearly 10% faster over the 6600 XT and 20% faster over the RTX 3060. When it comes to power use, Arc perhaps shows its first weakness. With 189 watts consumed under load, it's the most power hungry of the three. Power consumption alone really does not mean anything, but when divided by Heaven's benchmark score, Arc achieved a really good score of 27.5 points. AMD's excellent 6600 XT shows 15% higher efficiency, and the 3060, it was actually 10% less efficient. I think this is a really good result for Intel, do you agree? A770's MSRP of 349 USD puts it right at the top of this graph. It's officially the best card I've tested to date if bought at MSRP. You know what's even better? The A750. Eat this, Nvidia. Last graph looks at the second hand value of cards. Funny enough, this limited edition of A770 actually represents the worst value from Intel's ARC lineup, but despite this, it offers slightly better value over the used RTX 3060. Intel GPUs are still relatively new to the market and lack proper adoption, and there are very few of these on sale. Hopefully, 
This will change in the near future as I'm seriously impressed by how well it managed up until this point. But what are your thoughts? A770 had a clear edge in synthetic benchmarks, but is it going to continue to impress in games? Well, let's see. Witcher 3 with RT presets so nearly full GPU utilization, however, A770 was not at its usual peak power limit. Still, with 60 FPS on average, it provided the smoothest experience of the three. Turning ray tracing off and dropping down to ultra preset, A770 continues to deliver the best performance, and with 112 FPS on average, it's approximately 11% faster over the 3060 and 17% over the 6600 XT. First two points for ARC. Days Gone with a very high preset was only using A770 to around 80%, which of course further lowered power consumption, but also the averages. And with just 82 FPS on average, it was 23% slower than both 3060 and 6600 XT, which in fact gets its first point. Are you guys still playing Starfield? I've not touched it since I completed my storyline a few weeks ago. But, I'm happy to report, game now runs on ARC GPUs, but only barely. With under 50 FPS on average, A770 trails behind once again, and the 6600 XT scores another point. I finally got to try Intel's own AI super sampling, the XCSS in Cyberpunk, and I've gotta admit, the game looks really good. I'm using medium ray tracing preset and the A770 pushed 58 FPS on average with decent 1% lows at 46, more or less matching the RTX 3060. 6600 XT falls short by 22%. In the end, we gotta give the point to the 3060, which had lower power consumption at the same performance. I think that's fair, right? Nighttime San Dennis in Red Dead Redemption 2 got A770 working really hard and finally hitting its power limit. With 84 FPS on average, A770 scoops this round and manages to outperform 6600 XT by 12% and the 3060 by nearly 30%. Another point for ARC. Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition runs fairly well on ARC but the GPU utilization dipped into mid-70s way too often to secure another victory. 122 FPS on average with 1% lows at 81 is a great result, but this point goes over to RTX 3060. Far Cry 6 with ultra preset, HD textures and RT enabled was next on the list. And here, the A770 traded blows with 6600 XT on average FPS figures, but when we consider 6600 XT slightly better 1% lows, and also about 30 watt less power consumption, there is no argument and it deserves the point from this title. Coming up to last game tested, it's of course Forza Horizon 5. Using the extreme preset, ARC pushed 77 FPS on average, or under 8% slower than RTX 3060. Shame, as both are using the same amount of power. 6600 XT was only slower by a hair, but it consumed 35 watts less. Alrighty then, let's wrap up this video and the mini-series. Back in August of 2021, when Intel officially announced a new, high-performance graphics card brand, the ARC, their plan was for the Alchemist to come out in the first quarter of 2022. It didn't. And the rumor mill ramped up to 11, but luckily, here we are. Looking at the summary of today's testing, yes, there's still work to do, but I think we all need to consider this being Intel's first generation of dedicated GPU, whereas Nvidia and AMD have decades of experience. Intel's own implementation of super sampling works nicely in games, and in my opinion, produces better picture quality over FSR. The support for AV1 encode comes handy for all those streamers amongst you, and the overall experience is actually pretty good. At times, and the cost of higher power consumption of course, it clearly dominates both the 3060 or 6600 XT. Other times, poor utilization in certain games means it's slower, and there is no running away from this. But 
With the frequency and somewhat consistent performance uplift we get each time new driver releases, they certainly hope that ARC will age like fine blue wine. So then, should you consider the A770? Well, this might sound harsh, but no. Instead, look at the A750, which is a good third cheaper and not that much slower. I'd love to hear your opinion on this, please use the comment section down below. Dear Intel, please keep it going. Having a third player in the future would be nice and it hopefully should keep the other two in check. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this mini comparison series. I will be returning to my usual GPU and CPU testing and I've also made few interesting purchases recently so please stay tuned for new series and I hope to see you all in the next one.